Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swackoon, back at it again with another video and today we are going to be going over how to save up Shinos for anniversary and how to get the max amount that you can possibly get. I know a lot of you are going to be summoning for Yamato, some of you may have summoned for Kakashi, some of you are planning on summoning for Jiraiya and Minato and that is perfectly fine man, just like I always say, if they're your favorite, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you what else to do. But I know a lot of people are also noticing that my Shinos have been stacking up pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Your man has been on his grind, saving since Kid Naruto because I'm ready for anniversary, especially if it's Barry on Naruto. Because as y'all know, Naruto is my favorite character. Shisui is my second. But if it's not Naruto or Shisui, I'm not really going to, you know, ball out like I do for them. But anyways, so first things first, I'm not buying Shinos at all. I promise that is not what I'm doing, bro. Well, I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what I'm doing every single week to save up as many Shinos as I can. So first things first, you want to make sure you knock out all the daily achievements every single day. These daily achievements, I know at first they may not seem like a lot. You're probably like, man, Swakun, this is only five Shinos, man. This ain't nothing at all. But think about it. Five Shinos a day, seven days, that's 35 Shinos. So let's say, I don't know, what's seven, 14, 21, 28. 28 times 5 what is that i don't know a lot like 400 shinos or something it's at least like a couple hundred shinos so let's say like 400 make sure you guys do the daily achievements every single day it will add up and it will get you a couple hundred shinos a month so make sure you guys knock those out normal achievements i mean these aren't too crazy i know that you can't knock these out in like a week or two it's like grind attack mission uh complete like 200 attack mission or something like that so you know you don't really got to focus too much on these you'll accomplish these with time roundup mission you guys want to make sure you clear the once a day every single day every single day I'll, I'll teach you guys a trick with that and finally we have these new weekly achievements make sure you guys do these as well as you can see you can get 10 shinos 10 shinos 10 shinos 10 shinos 10 shinos and there's also the daily ones um so you know what i'm saying make sure you guys knock out those missions right there as i know they may not seem like a lot right now but they do add up and they will definitely help you save up for the anniversary now for roundup i know that doing the dailies and completing that mission every single day is a pain in the butt so make sure you guys buy these limited time tickets and these insta chief tickets right here as well these ones you only buy once and then you won't be able to buy them again i personally wouldn't recommend using these but these these refresh every few days so as you can see it refreshes in three days and 11 hours so make sure you guys buy these tickets when you can and only use those limited tickets to complete the daily since you can use a ticket achieve right here and if you click this uh bottom right picture right here this little check mark does not use non-expiring tickets you will only use the limited time tickets so save all the limited time tickets complete the dailies uh the once a days as they will get you 20 shinos i think it's like every third or every fifth day or something so that definitely stacks up a lot too so just make sure you guys do that um every single day okay now next thing you'll get those achievements right here in the achievements tab 20 shinos 20 shinos 20 shinos that's already like basically like 80 shinos because i already got one already um but i think altogether it's like 100 shinos a month if you complete that as well next we got the panel missions right here so make sure you guys complete these you will get shinos from these as well you get 50 shinos right up here at the top so that definitely counts for something as well make sure you guys complete all the roundups as well because all these roundups give you shinos right there's 10 here's 15 20 and 30 so that definitely will stack up as well and you get a couple shinos for beating this one the kakashi one as well um so make sure you guys knock those out too what else do we do the next one i do is a tag mission so i always get to gokun in every single week i get to gokun in every single week um that will give you 200 shinos every week so as you can see right here right now i'm at tier 3 chonin which is cool i mean you know what i'm saying just grind as much as you can i'm not saying you have to get to gokunin but that's what's going to get you the most shino so when you get to gokunin you get 200 shino as you can see right here and you get some attack mission tickets and some medals to use but you guys can kind of scroll through these and check it out so make sure you guys rank as high as you can in order to get some shinos it definitely stacks up this is the main thing on where i'm getting my shinos every day is the 200 shinos every week definitely has been helping me out a lot so make sure you guys grind as much as you can to rank up and if you guys are crazy crazy like man i'm trying to get as much shinos as i can you can grind a tag mission like crazy and you can also get some extra shinos 
I personally don't necessarily think it's worth it. I mean, unless you're trying to flex on your base or something by getting this rainbow frog right here. Um, you can just kind of use that as like a trap installation. It doesn't do anything. It's just for swag, honestly. Um, I just don't think it's really worth it. 100 Shinos to get first place is pretty wild. And as you can see, this man has 13,600 honor points which is which is just in, insane to me i'm not yeah no nah, that ain't for me but if it's for you respect because I, I personally wouldn't do it so there's that as well um and then if you guys want to i'm definitely not like a crazy pay to win kind of guy but i do think it's a good investment to do the mission pass and get the premium pass i believe it's only like four dollars or three dollars or something i think it's a really really good investment you get a you get a new stat card you get a, like double the amount of shinos so as you can see, there's 30 here, uh, 40, another 20, another 30, and then you get 300 when you get to level 20. And this isn't that crazy to grind. Like what I like to do, for example, clear a mission with Yamato, clear a mission with Naruto Uzumaki. So I will go, let's use this for example. I, I go on attack mission, right? I use Boruto. I'll use a really good support. Like, I don't know, let's say Ashura. And then I'll just toss in Yamato in here and I'll toss in OG Naruto in here. So where are they at? Where are they at? Somewhere down here. I'll toss Yamato in there and then I'll toss OG Naruto in there just so that I can get those missions out of the way. So I'll do attack mission like this. I'll do the once a day roundup missions like this because I know as long as I do this, it'll count towards completing the missions of the Yamato and Naruto. I can get my attack mission grind out of the way and I'm still going to be good because I have my strongest main right here. So that's what I would recommend to complete the missions. As far as the other ones, like play a mission a hundred times that's just you're gonna have to do that over time use 200 lp um i i mean you'll you'll kind of get that over time as well play an attack mission log in use synthesis cards like these are just very very simple tasks that will get you a lot of shinos every single day as well um so i feel like that's basically for the for the most part that's about it um if you guys really really want to i guess like you could you guys could grind this i don't even think you get shinos from this if i'm not mistaken I don't, I don't think you get shinos from this. I, I, don't, I don't know. But aside from that, every single month, as you guys know, we also get Sam. So surprise attack mission. You guys should grind Sam as much as you can. Um, you can definitely get shinos from that depending on how high you rank as well. Same as attack mission though. As long as you get under 1k or 10k, I mean, I think you should be good. You don't got to go super crazy or anything like that. But I do recommend that you grind Sam and all out mission as well. I know all out mission is definitely a lot harder than it used to be. But even like getting S rank or double S rank instead of triple S rank, even getting to S and double S will get you an extra like 100, 120, 150 Shinos, whatever it is. So that definitely will add up. And finally, what I also recommend, if you guys can, if not, I mean, it's not a crazy big deal or anything. Um, get the Gamamichi pack, the 20 Shinos a day pack, this one right here. I do definitely recommend getting this because you get 20 Shinos every single day for a whole month. This one has been the game changer for me, in my opinion, because 20 times 30, let's say 20 times 30, that's like 600 Shinos a month. And I also got this anniversary pack. Um, I mean, they're only like three bucks or like seven dollars or something. So these are all really, really good. And they very, very well do add up. And you'll see y'all y'all people saying I'm like pay to win. Look at this, bro. I have not bought anything. I'm not buying any of these things. Those things are mad expensive. But that's what I would recommend if you guys can, but if not, it's not a big deal. Like I said, the, the, the ones that I do definitely recommend if you invest at all would be the mission pass because you get a lot from it and it's only like three bucks. Um, but if you guys can get the Gamamichi pack, that definitely helped me out a lot. Um, I don't think I have, yeah, see there extra 20 Shinos right there. So yeah, guys, that's how your boy has been saving up, uh, for, you know, the anniversary and everything and how I've been able to accumulate all that stuff over time. And I believe in Great Guild War, you can also get some Shinos, if I'm not mistaken. You can get five Shinos for every time you contribute and get a certain amount of points. So there's that. 10 Shinos again, 15, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys contribute to your guild. You just go here. If you have a thousand, um, a thousand points, you get, you get these little scrolls, these little books up here by uh, just completing regular missions. You get to upgrade and when you upgrade enough, upgrade enough points, you get those type of rewards right there. So that'll definitely add up to, that's like an extra 40 Shinos right there. So I know little by little, it seems like it's nothing. And you're probably like, come on swag. Let me get something to get 500 Shinos. Unless you're cashing out, you're not going to get that many Shinos all at once, but I promise by the end of the month, doing all of these steps, 
should get you enough to at least get like a thousand to 1500 chinos right so let's assume four weeks in a month 200 chinos for gokunin every week that's already 800 chinos you feel me right here plus 300 chinos right here that's 1100 plus however many is in here let's say it's another hundred so that's already 1200 you know what i'm saying panel missions 1500 right here because of the 50 chinos like everything will add up it will add up do the dailies complete these weekly missions complete your normal achievements complete the once a days everything it will add up and i promise if you guys save up you'll have enough shinos to hopefully get through a round or two for anniversary so anyways those are my tips and tricks for saving up shinos before the anniversary so let me know what y'all think please make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe down below we are almost at 2k subscribers baby thank you guys so much for all the love and support um at 2k subscribers if you guys haven't seen already i will be doing a q a so i will be making a q a video um announcing it and in that video you guys can comment all the questions you guys like and i'll make a separate video to answer all of them for you guys so without further ado thank you guys for watching have a blessed day and i'll see you guys in the next one